Hello viewers, welcome to Kaidavil channel. Today we are going to see puff hat in the in this video. So what we need is woolen thread. I am using this colorful woolen thread. And then 5 mm size crochet needle. And then one scissors. Come let's start the section. Before continuing please subscribe and like the video for further videos. Come let's start it. First put a slip knot. Okay. And then make four chains. Make four chains and then slip stitch in here. The first chain. The next round, the first round we have to do first three stitch three chains. Okay. Next we have to do the puff stitch. See yarn over and insert the needle in this gap. Yarn pull the yarn through this. There will be three loops. Again yarn over and Insert the needle in this and pull through this. Again yarn over and insert the needle in this and pull through this. Okay. So totally there will be 6 loops in the needle. Yarn over it and pull through all the 6. This is the puff stitch. See another time. We have to do this six times. One time we have done and we have to repeat it five times. See, yarn over it and insert the needle in the gap. Pull through this, pull the yarn through this. Again, yarn over it, insert the needle in the gap. Pull through this, again, yarn over it and pull, insert the needle in the gap and pull through this. So, again, yarn over it and pull through all the six loops. Okay, so this is the puff stitch. You will get this puff stitch. I'm doing it another time. Let's pull through this. Yarn over it, pull through this. Then insert the needle through this. See, I did one, two, three. Three puffs I have done. I have to do another three puffs. So, we have to do this three times also. Insert the needle and pull this three times. So, I done. so we will get six puffs. One, two. 3, 4, 5, 6 puffs and then uh, don't consider this first starting 3 chain as a stitch. Don't consider that. Mm. Every round we will be starting with the 3 chain. Don't consider that. Okay. Now slip stitch in the starting chain. Okay. This is our first round. First round is ready. See so it will be like this. First round is ready. Next we have to do the second round. The same pattern will be repeating. But we have to increase the stitches. See first 3 chain. And then see yarn over it. And insert the hook in this. In this link. The gap. Gap between the first 2 puffs. Okay. There will be a gap between 2 puffs. Insert the hook there. Like this. And okay. So we have done a first puff. Do the second puff there itself. See, we have to do two two puffs in each stitches. Yeah. See, first I have done the two puffs and then again we have to done the two puffs in this gap. There will be a gap between this. We have to do this.
see uh, I have made a 12 puffs 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 ok 12 puffs and then slip stitch here the first stitching slip stitch here ok so this is the right side next for the third round first make 3 chain and then do 1 puff 2 puffs 1 puff 2 puff see first don't leave this then do here at the gap between the 2 puffs ok I made 1 puff and then the gap between the next 2 puffs you have to make 2 puffs at the same One, two, the same here. Next, in the next gap, make one puff. And then the next gap make two puffs. You have to make in the gap. Same gap. Okay. So like this you continue this third round. So totally you will have at the end of this round, totally you will have 18 puffs. In the last stitch, do 2 puffs here. Okay. Okay. And then... Uh, in the top of the slip stitch, do in the top of the chain, do the slip stitch. So totally you will have 30, uh, 18, 18 puffs in the third round. Now you start for the fourth round, 3 chain and then 1 puff, 1 puff, 2 puff. That's the pattern, see, here, in the gap between the puffs, do 1 puff first. And then do one puff in the next gap here. And then do two puffs in the next gap. Two puffs. Like this, you have to repeat this pattern. One, one, two. Okay. See, one. And then one here. And then two here. Okay. Okay. Like this, you continue this round, and then at the end of the round, you will have twenty four puffs. At the end of this fourth round, make a slip stitch at the top of the chains. And then for the fifth round, make three chain and one, one, two. One, 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 two. That is the pattern. See, I have to make one puff here.
and then one puff in the next next gap and then one puff in the next gap here see and then two puffs in the next gap okay See, like this we have to do 1, 1, 1, 2. Okay. So, at the end of the round, you will have 30 puffs. Okay. like this see at the end of this fifth round we have to we have we will get 30 puffs and then make the slip stitch at the top of the chain okay next we have to going to do our sixth round so three chain one 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 and then two four times one one puff and then one time two tuff, two puffs okay see So the one, then two here. So one, 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 two. So at the end of the round you will have 36 puffs. See viewers, I have completed my uh, sixth row with 36 uh, puffs. See, one, 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 and then two. Okay. So now I am finishing this round by slip stitching at the top of the chains. Okay. Now we are to, going to do our seventh round. 
three chain and then one 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 and then two okay these are the patterns so repeat it see the same we do the puffs three times we have to do this two Try to insert in the gaps. Then here two, okay. So we have to repeat this pattern, uh, okay. So that we will get forty-two stitches at the end of this row, okay. Continue it. my seventh row so I will be having 42 puffs okay now I am going to do my eighth row so I will show you how see first put three chains see, three chain and then we have to make one one puff in each puffs okay in each gaps we have to make one one puffs see so that's it so in each one we have to make one one puffs so totally at the end of this row you will have 48 puffs sorry 42 puffs The end of this round you will have 42 puffs you continue this by making one one puffs in each links so i completed my eighth row uh, at the end of this row i will have 42 puffs uh, each one stitch one one puff i have made it okay we have to repeat this this eighth row up to r17 up to row 17 see first three chain and each one 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 puff okay in each stitch we have to do one one puffs so that at the end of the each row you will get 42 puffs you have to repeat this r8 up to r70 so i'll meet you at the end of this rows see you yes i have made my 17 rows of this puffs so it will be like this and each uh, round there will be 42 puffs okay next for the 18th round make the slip stitch at the top of the third chain and then for the 18th round we have to make single crochets all over the round see put one chain and then one single crochet in each gaps okay one single crochet like this Each one one gap, one one single crochets. There will be a gap between each puffs and then do the single crochets there.
see at the end uh, you, you you would have made uh, 42 single crochets and then 42 single crochets and here at the top of the chain you do the slip stitch so this is round 18 and for round 19 put one chain and continue this round 18 pattern by doing one one single crochets in each stitch so the end of the round you will have 42 chains so repeat this for four times for row 19 20 21 and 22 you repeat this pattern i will show you how it looks after the 22 rows are finished so i have made uh, five rounds of single crochets and then now i am going to slip stitch it See, slip stitch at the chain Okay, that's it. Now cut the and trim it off. So you bind the excess in the here that's it. I finished my puff stitch crochet this is for uh, two to three years old uh, you can um, make it small for the smaller size and the newborn babies uh, make up to 30 round 30 puffs and uh, extend it I, I had done 42 puffs and extend it so that it it will be fitted for uh, two to three years old kids okay or for you are doing for adult means you increase the rounds okay Okay, I hope you all will like this video. I have further uh, many more hats and boutiques available for babies and uh, adults in my channel. Please uh, like and subscribe for further videos. Thank you.